Hey guys, and welcome back to Can I Has Buff, the Warframe series that takes older or weaker weapons and puts them under the spotlight, discussing the issues with the weapon and offering buffs or changes in order to bring them up to par with other weapons in the game. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Stug, a corrosive blob launcher developed by the Grenier and used by the Artificer enemy. The Stug was introduced on December 19, 2013 in the Cicero Crisis update, which included Oberon and Burst on Prime. The Stug is one of a kind, firing corrosive blobs that stick to surfaces or enemies and dealing small ticks of AoE damage before exploding. While the UI lists that there's no status chance, this is simply referring to the impact and AoE effect of the blobs as exploding blobs do deal status, albeit low at around 8% or so at base. Firing the weapon normally results in the gun firing small blobs automatically, with blobs landing next to each other combining until they reach a critical mass and explode, or if left alone for a few moments to explode on their own. This stacking can be bypassed by using the Alt Fire button, which will begin to charge up the shot up to 6 total blobs, allowing the user to deal maximum damage in one single blob. The charge is slow, however, and firing additional blobs into it afterwards will cause its duration to extend and not add any additional damage. While the damage even on single blobs is high, players will often find that the actual damage the blobs deal to be lacking. Indeed, in addition to blobs that are stacked refreshing their duration until they explode, up to a point, the actual explosion can be severely underwhelming, especially against armor. The weapon has potential to be a powerful weapon, but the time restraints on waiting for the blobs to explode to hopefully stack corrosive procs or other status causes the weapon to feel sluggish and weak. It also deals self-damage and procs to the user which often results stacking them on a charging melee enemy only to have them explode in your face and possibly kill you if you aren't careful. So with the basic mechanics and concerns out of the way, here are a few of my suggestions to buff the stub. Simply put, the Stug's real downside is the time it takes for blobs to explode, causing procs like Corrosive to be far too in between when they happen at all to begin with. While I think fully charged blobs should still have a small duration timer before exploding, single blobs fired on auto or halfway charged alt fire blobs should explode immediately when striking an enemy or surface. This will allow the low status of the blobs to actually stack much faster, but still allow users to place larger blobs if they wish to do so. Similar to the Tar Mutilus MOA from the Infested, which shoots puddles of tar that slows and damages its enemies, blobs now form small pools when impacting floors that stack up to 10 times, increasing in size and damage up to about 8 meters or so across in either direction. Enemy speed is also slowed by 10 to 30 percent depending on the stack amount in the pool, and the pool shrinks in size by about one stack or blob every second, with additional blobs adding and refreshing the stacks. If hitting enemies directly, the enemy becomes covered in a thick tar from the weapon, and their speed is reduced by a flat 10 percent instead as they take damage and procs for a short period of time. In addition, if hitting walls or ceilings, it will instead cover that section of the wall with a bubbling mass that after a few moments forms a big acidic tar bubble that explodes, dealing full damage of how many shots were fired into the wall before exploding, as well as procking gas on enemies within 5 meters. With this buff, the Stug becomes a deadly and fun corrosive tar weapon, something that the Stug should have been from the start. This buff would also make the weapon more effective, but only against armor, as the weapon is intended for anyway. When and only when the blobs stick to enemies directly, the blobs begin to dissolve the enemy's armor over time by a specific amount based on how many blobs are stuck to an enemy. With a full stack of 6 for example, each second removes 5% or so of the enemy's armor for up to 6 seconds before exploding, dealing normal explosion damage but as well as the armor rating it dissolved during the process. This would allow the Stug to fully embrace its corrosive nature and become deadly against Grenier, as well as scaling a little. So that's the Stug, a corrosive blob launcher that has stuck by as other weapons slowly outclassed it over time. Do you like the Stug? Or do you feel it's in need of a buff, perhaps one of the buffs I mentioned in this video? Feel free to tell me in the comments below and stay tuned for the next installment of Can I Has Buff. 